there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Athens, Greece, with the Acropolis Hill and the Parthenon behind us. This is one of Johnson's favorite places to come in the world, and always a good time for us with the food and all kinds of stuff. And if you have great museums, great historical sites, and great food, there's still things you don't do when you go to a place, and that's why today's video are the things you don't do when you come to Athens. And I guess one little don't I have for you is don't call the building on the top the Acropolis. The Acropolis is the hill, and going up to the top is the Acropolis. Up on the top that's the Parthenon that's on top that really cool structure you always see in pictures that's what that is okay so that's the first don't 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 confuse the two the second don't I have for you is don't skip going up there a lot of people think oh with all the tourists up there in the heat uh, is it really worth it to go up there it's just some ruins look it is a magical experience when you see the Parthenon I know every time I come to Athens when I come the first time I I turn a corner and I look up and I see the Parthenon on, on the top of the Acropolis I'm like oh it's like that really corny tourist moment it's wonderful and don't miss that experience so yes hike up in the heat and go with the crowds and go through there and enjoy going up there and seeing one of the most magnificent spots and tourist destinations in the world okay now I do have a little extra don't when you are going up to the top you'll see when you go through you'll see there there's construction on the front of it and when people come through for the, the main entrance they all stop to take a picture right there and it gets really kind of crowded and people get frustrated look you can take a few more steps and go in a little bit farther and get actually better pictures so don't worry you'll get great pictures of the Acropolis all over the directions but just know you're gonna get a little frustrated with all the people stopping right there so don't stop go a little bit farther and take some pictures okay another don't I have for you is don't drive when you come to Athens I mean you're asking for a heart attack every time you go anywhere so just don't just, just don't. Take a taxi, take an Uber, take the metro, take the tram, take a bus. Heck, take a group of crazy Greeks. Just don't drive when you come here. It's not worth it. And if you're going to be walking around, realize that you may think you have the right of way, but don't think you have the right of way because that's where a lot of problems and a lot of hurt tourists come through is there are car accidents and they do nick the tourists. I'm a pretty good tourist, but I almost got hit today, so you really need to be careful. So don't think you're out of the right away. Make sure you're always paying attention, okay? So now we're here at the Temple of Zeus. Well, we want to get in the Temple of Zeus, and that's one of the next don'ts we have for you is don't be surprised if there's like a strike going on when you are here in Athens, but it's not usually going to be a big, huge strike. It'll be a lot of little mini strikes might happen. So for example, I want to go to the Temple of Zeus right now. I can't because they're on strike just today from 8 until 11. And the strikes here, I mean, they may affect you or they may not, but the thing is they're usually not in big durations and stuff like that, so it doesn't hurt tourism so much, but it might just be some little annoyances. So don't be surprised if you have those little strikes. Another don't I have for you going on for that is don't let the strikes and protests that you've seen on TV and television kind of keep you from visiting Athens. It is a cool city with a lot of great stuff to see, like the Temple of Zeus and going up the Acropolis, the Parthenon, and the museums, and the food on Plaka District and Mustaraiki and all these places. And a lot of people get turned off because of the news about Athens. Honestly, I've been here when there's been some protests and they've shown it on CNN and other places where it's like making it look like it's this whole big rubble rubs. Oh, in Greece, there's protests. We were at the same square, just on the back side of it, getting a coffee and, and getting a little donut-like thing here in Greece. And the thing is, is don't get freaked out about that, but you should pay attention because there might be a strike on a, you know, a, maybe a taxi line or maybe on the two or the tram line or the, the metro line that might affect you. And so if you are going to be going, you know, to the airport and stuff like that, you might want to check into it. But we haven't had really too many issues when we've been here, but there are just these little tiny, tiny things like that. You might want to kind of put, put in your mind when you are here. Okay, another thing I want to tell you is don't worry about not speaking Greek when you come to Athens. It seems like everyone does speak English here, so you will be okay. Restaurants, hotels, everything have things in Greek and English, so you'll be fine with that, so don't worry about that one. Another thing I would say is don't drink the tap water. It's not necessarily bad here, but I would stick to bottled water when you are here, and you'll see that the locals do that, and there's tons of kiosks around that sell it, so pick up some bottles before you go to bed at night so you have some bottled water just to cool off because, yes, you don't want to mess with the heat when you're here as well because it gets extremely hot in the summer, so you do want to be careful. So have your hat and your sunglasses and your sunblock because it can be pretty strong. Another thing you need to know is when you come to Athens, you're going to do a lot of walking, so don't forget some good walking shoes because going up the Acropolis Hill, walking around the slick tiles you see behind me, it can be a lot of walking and really tough on your feet, so don't forget those good walking shoes. Another don't I have for you when you come to Greece is 
make sure you don't wear like shorts and skirts and tank tops and stuff when you try to go to churches because some churches won't let you in. Some don't care, but you might want to have a heads up with that one. Some other don'ts I have for you is if you are going to be going through the markets and stuff like Manasaraik or Plaka, don't feel pressured to buy things. Look, there's a lot of high pressure salespeople here and Taos that try to get you into restaurants, get you into shops, get you to buy stuff you might not want. Don't get over pressured by them because a lot of stores have very similar things. So you might want to try different prices when you are there and go look at other different stores. So don't feel that like you have to be pressured into doing stuff. So be careful for that. So another don't we have for you when you are at the markets and stuff like that is don't forget to bargain. Look, the price they give you at first, you can bargain that down a lot of places, even it has a price tag and stuff like that. And the thing is, you can be like, ah, oh, they'll tell you, look, I'm going to give you a deal because you're my friend. Well, you can even bargain even farther down lower for that to get even better prices. And another way you can bargain down lower is to pay with cash. And a don't I have for you with the cash kind of thing is don't be surprised if their credit card machine doesn't work right now or the system's really busy because they don't have to pay the commission if you pay with cash. So you better just to come with cash. If they give you a deal, you say, hey, and what if I pay with cash? Can you knock that down even more? Because don't be surprised again if that credit card machine might not work when you're there. When you are here at the Acropolis by the Parthenon, really be careful. Don't mess around because it is, you know, like marble floors and marble everywhere. And it is super slick with lots of slick rocks and uneven pavement, so do be careful. We saw a few people fall when they were there and they got some pretty wicked, wicked cuts. So do be careful, okay? Another don't I have for you is yes, you need to go for the Parthenon up the Acropolis Hill. But when you do come here to Athens, make sure you do check out the museums. The new Acropolis Museum is fantastic. The National Archaeological Museum is awesome. Our archaeology museum is great. Benaki, there's all kinds of cool museums here in Athens. So don't just think, oh, I just go to the Acropolis and go up there and that's it. No, there's some fantastic museums to check out here, so don't pass up on those. Another don't for when you come to Greece is if you do get invited to somebody's house and they offer you food and they keep offering you food, it's rude to kind of refuse it. So I know you're going to say, but I don't want to eat so much. Just accept the fact that you're going to put on some weight when you come to Greece because they will feed you and feed you and feed you because that's how the hospitality is here. So another don't for Athens is don't skip out on having lunch or dinner um, in one of the many squares. Yeah, sometimes it's a little more pricey in one of these outdoor sort of places um, and in the tourist areas, but the, the service is nice and you always have great views and it's just a nice atmosphere. So although there might be a little markup, it's usually worth it. Enjoy. And my last don't for you is don't skip out on doing some day trips from here in Athens. You can use Athens as a base, plenty of hotels and places to stay, plenty of restaurants and shopping, but there are some cool day trips to take. And for me, the best day trip is taking a trip to Delphi and you go there and see where the Oracle of Delphi was and you can see all the ruins there. And it is a really cool day trip that you can do. So definitely worth checking that one out. But my favorite day trip is to Nafleo. It's about like two hours from here. But it's such a beautiful little city and just spending a day there is like incredible. Walk around the square there. Oh my God, it's really romantic too. <laughs> it is. I just did, I didn't say Nafleo first because it's a little bit farther away, but you can get there easily. I've been there before. You can hike up to the fortress on the top of the hill. It's a lot of steps, but it's well worth it for the views and stuff. But there are some really good day trips from here. Anyway, I hope this helped you know what not to do when you do come to Athens. It's well worth visiting. Don't let the news or protests or whatever scare you away. This place is a cool place to check out with fantastic sites like the Parthenon on Acropolis Hill, wonderful museums like the National Archaeology Museum and more, and food and people and all kinds of great stuff. So I hope you do come. Have a great time in Greece. If you like videos like this, click that subscribe button. We put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and we have videos like 10 things that shock you when you come to Greece. Advice for eating in Greece so you can get nice and husky like me. All kinds of great stuff all on our website at waltersworld.com. Anyway, I'll say Yasis from Athens.